Stop recording. Speech off. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel or welcome back. I am glad you're here. I thought in today's video we would talk a little bit about what I recommend better help or not. So let's get started. I've used the BetterHelp platform off and on several times, so I thought I would just speak to my experience. Um, I personally think it depends on your therapist. I haven't meshed well with some of the previous therapists that I've had, so I just kind of bleh, um, kind of clicked off of it and kind of gave up on it and stuck with the therapist that I really like that um, I was matched with through my insurance. But now that I understand the therapy process a little bit more, I really do recommend better help for the reasons that I'm about to Um, list that if you don't mesh well with the first therapist that you are matched with, you can switch therapists and they're, they don't penalize you for that. Um, there is group sessions that you can join. You can journal within that app. And you can share those journals with your therapist, which I really like. But sometimes in that moment, you can't think about, you can't, or at least for me, I can't always think about what I want to say kind of in that moment or what I want to, you know, talk about. But I can write it in a journal and then it's shared with my therapist and then they know to bring that up in the next session. Or you can just journal privately for yourself. And the group sessions are nice to talk with people going through similar things as you. And to get a different perspective from a different um, social, like licensed social worker or a different therapist. So, all of that included in one membership in, like, in one app is very nice. Um, some of the downfalls is that it's kind of expensive, even with financial aid. It still comes out to be 200 and something a month. So, um, it's sometimes better just to go through your insurance if your insurance does pay for therapy. But a lot of times your insurance doesn't pay for all those added benefits. But the cost, I would say, is like the biggest um, downside. And I currently love my current therapist through BetterHelp. But her schedule does get filled up pretty quickly. So it's sometimes hard to get in like if I need to reschedule, sometimes it's hard to get in at a more convenient time slot. So that's hard, but like I said, I do recommend it overall with those few caveats. And the app is extremely voiceover friendly and things like that on the iPhone and iPad, and they do try to keep it as accessible as possible for people with disabilities. And I like that they ask you a really in-depth um, questionnaire for matching you with a therapist to figure out what type of therapy you specifically are looking for. So that's kind of how I feel about better help. And I will see y'all in the next one.
Bye. Speech on. Stop recording. Button.